I am giving a PS4 away right now. If you want to enter into this giveaway to have a chance at winning this, I'll be ending this giveaway in two weeks. All you have to do is simply leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't, then after you subscribe, be sure to click that bell to stay notified, and most importantly, go down below sometime in the description and check out my Twitter. That is where I'll be releasing the winner for this PS4. Now let's get into this nifty glitch. By the way, if you guys have any glitches that you would want to share with me for me to make it more known, feel free to message me on YouTube, message me on Twitter, or email me with the email down below in the description. I will give you credit and make a video over it possibly if I didn't know about it. Okay, so anyways, for this infinite exotic perk glitch, you're gonna have to be needing the first curse. Now I know this hand cannon for a lot of you is probably collecting dust, or you just haven't even got this hand cannon. Don't worry, you're not missing out on much if you don't have it. It's just that this glitch will help improve your play style when having the first curse. Because the first curse perk will be infinite, which just makes your shots more linear, which means you'll be able to shoot further and be accurate with your shot more. All you have to do to get this to work, it's actually pretty simple. You gotta get a kill with the gun, and you have to make sure it is a precision kill. Wow. You know what some of you guys are thinking, wow. That's it? Really? No. No, no, that's not it. You're also going to have to have Amakara Grasp if you're using a Hunter, and Transversive Steps if you are using a Warlock. I'll get into details about the Warlock further into this video. First, I'm going to start with the Hunter. And I'm not exactly sure if it's possible with the Titan. Maybe some of you guys will fill me in down below in the comments if it is or if it isn't. I don't play with the Titan that much to be honest. In order for this to be able to work with the Titan though, you're going to be needing a perk that will refill the primary ammo. Anyways, after you get the kill with the first curse, you then, I know this is going to sound strange, want to empty out the mag. And after you empty out the mag, switch to your secondary and throw a flaming throwing knife at your opponent. And the reason why you want a flaming knife is because it has multiple ticks. And the ticks help increase your chances of your magazine to be refilled in your primary. So if you just try to do this without the flaming knife, it's going to be a lot harder to perform. Now, after you hit another opponent after getting a precision kill with a flaming knife while having your secondary out, this is when the glitch will be active for an infinite amount of time. And yes, the perk works for your secondary and heavy. Here's a comparison test with the perk active and with the perk not active. And basically what it helps with, like I was mentioning before, it increases the stability and range and it makes it so your shot is more linear and you're able to shoot at a further distance and be more accurate instead of your shot shaking or going up or something. So yes, you'll be able to do more damage as well at a further distance because once again, you'll be more accurate and it increases your range and stability. Pretty nifty little glitch I have to say. Now let's get into the Warlock. The Warlock is much more simple than the Hunter and the reason why is because there is less steps. All you have to do after you get a precision kill with the first curse, simply pick up some special ammo while wearing the transversive steps and having your secondary out and well this will activate the glitch where you're able to have the first curse perk work for your secondary and heavy instead of just the hand cannon. Pretty cool little easy glitch to perform if you want to, you know, maybe dust off the first curse and play with it a bit. And by the way, I'm not the founder of this. I'm not exactly sure who found it. All I know is I was taught this from a guy named Trips Ed Wicked. I believe that's how his uh, YouTube name is pronounced. I'll leave a link down below in the description to his channel if you want to go check him out. And by the way, I got to give huge thanks to a guy named MacBones Gaming for getting this footage for me. He's an upcoming YouTuber. If you want to go check him out as well, I'll leave a link down below in the description to his channel. They're both not that very well known, so I'm positive they would appreciate your support. Anyways, enough about that. Hopefully this was something new to you guys. That is what I'm trying to bring to y'all in Destiny. Still, it is hard because the game has been out for so long. This was something new to me, so hopefully it was something new to you. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.